Hey YouTube, the Mac Helper here, and I'm just making this video to let you guys know that I'll be back, um, back to joining the YouTube community. I recently became a um, a partner of YouTube, and I'm gonna be, you know, coming back making videos. You know, my account is geared towards Mac related things, so I'll be doing uh, cool Mac applications, cool Mac accessories, um, and also of course tutorials. And also, I have an iPhone 4 and an iPad, so I'll be doing um, videos of uh, different cool applications and products for the both of those as well. So it's just Mac-oriented, and there will be many tutorials and some cool reviews of different things. So just look forward to a couple of videos, maybe twice a week, something like that. And please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to you how to transfer music from your iPod slash iPhone directly to your computer's hard drive from an iPhone or iPod that is um, synced with a different um, iTunes account. And let's get started. An an iPod that's not synced with your library app, you know, iTunes won't let you because it's saying that uh, all iPod slash iPhones have to be synced with one library, so it'll only give you the option of clearing that library and replacing it with yours. But you know, sometimes you just want to get songs off an old iPhone or iPod that you used to have that's hooked up to a different account or a friend's iPod. So this is going to be the solution for that. And the application that um, I use for this or that is used for this is Sanuti. And just to give you some information about Sanuti, here's the um, here's the uh, application website. It's fadingred.com. I'll put that in the description. And it costs eighteen ninety nine to purchase a license, but there's a free thirty day trial, and you get up to a thousand songs that you can transfer onto your hard drive. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and open up the application. I already have my iPhone hooked up. I just hooked it up, and immediately it'll tell you the name of the the iPhone, and then first and then it'll go into your, it'll give you your entire library. This is my entire library, everything on my phone, all the music. Uh, it tells you know how much music you have. And what you can do is you can click songs one by one and play them, you know, preview them. So if you don't know how a song sounds, you just want to hear it, you can preview it. Or if you have a specific name in, in mind, you can just search it immediately, click on it, transfer it to wherever, whatever part of your hard drive. And then over here on this side right here, under your iPhone's name, it gives you all of the playlists that are on your iPhone. So that's really convenient. So if you just want to grab a couple of playlists from an old phone or an old iPod, you can just click on them, Command A or Select All, transfer immediately. And then it also gives you your iTunes um, playlist. So just to, as to know, um, you know, where you want to put things. So just for demonstrational purposes, I will show you this song right here, and I will transfer it. I will choose my desktop, and I will continue. And within two seconds, it's transferred. You know, one song will be quick, and a couple songs will be pretty quick. But you know, if you want to go an entire library, it'll take a little bit longer. But you'll be able to have all those songs on your hard drive. So as you can see, it copied right here, and I can immediately then just take it and drag it to my iTunes library, and I will have it added to my iTunes library. So this is a quick and easy way to um, just transfer music from your iPod slash iPhone. Um, so you'll be able to um, add it to your new iTunes library. I hope this was helpful. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.